<clears throat> Hi, back with another UWP uh, application development video and in this video I will talk about uh, flyouts as I mentioned in my last video that I'll be covering the major important topics in UWP that every Windows developer should learn uh, so this is the fourth video and I'm going to talk about flyouts the uh, flyouts are when we click on any element or a button then a drop down uh, window is opened up and inside it we can have further drop downs as well all right so now let's go and I have created a new project in my Visual Studio 2015 and inside this project I have opened this main page dot XAML and I'm gonna write few lines of XAML in this grid view so on the left side you can see that this is the mobile view UWP is a adoptive UI kind of uh, application development environment so I can click on it to navigate to my desktop application view and I can just fit all to bring uh, everything on to my screen okay so now I need to create a few uh, XAML code so let's go and inside the grid element I'm gonna include a button so I will write button and I will give it a name my button content is click me horizontal alignment is center let's press enter to bring things down like this all right and vertical alignment is center as well and now I need to give it some width and height so I will give width that is 400 uh, 100 and the height would be let's say 40 all right and let's add the ending button elements all right now in order to add a fly out on this button click we can add a fly out on any other uh, element we can have a fly out on a, a radio button checkbox or uh, any other clicking item that generate events okay so now inside this button element I will use this same element and if I press dot it will give me few properties and if I write F it is gonna give me fly out all right and this is where I can define fly out in my application and after that let's add a fly out and X colon name and I will give it my fly out as my name okay so I have created a flyout on this element by writing button dot flyout and inside it I have created the actual flyout element what does it mean it means that I'm going to create a flyout in between this element button dot flyout so that's why I have created a separate flyout element all right so now I need to uh, give it a text block uh, to show up as a flyout so text block text and inside it we can write anything you have clicked button all right uh, let's add our font size to it and font size let's add 20 and after that horizontal alignment as center all right so now we need to check it by running our application so I'm gonna click on local machine to uh, run my application and see that if I click on this button the fly out uh, should pop up um, at the top uh, or at the bottom we can also set it uh, whether it should pop up at the top or bottom I'll tell you later that how this thing is done so our application have been started now in order to click this click me you can see that there is a pop-up uh, you have clicked button if I click it again it has gone so uh, this is how we can define our fly outs so inside my uh, button dot fly out element I'm going to remove this fly out from here and instead I can define other kinds of fly out as well so I will write menu fly out and this will create a menu as a fly out inside my button click okay 
and after that let's add our toggle menu fly out and it will have a tick icon with this element okay so I will give it a text and this is a toggle fly out all right and after that if I want to add a horizontal line below this toggle fly out we have another thing we can add menu fly out separator all right this will create a horizontal line below our toggle fly out uh, item and after that I can create menu fly out item and let's add our text fly out one all right let's copy this line and I'm going to paste it below two more times and this is the fly out that will be shown up if I click on my local machine make sure you save your project before clicking on this local machine so uh, if I click on this button let's see if I click on it you can see that there is a toggle fly out and uh, we, you can see that there is a tick icon if I click on it again and click me again the toggle has gone so this is the way we can add toggles inside it and we have other flyout one flyout one all the other elements under it so this is the modified version of our flyout there is another thing that we want to add in uh, this flyout what if I want to add an arrow after any of these elements and if I hover my cursor on it or click on it there should be another flyout uh, on the right side or on the left side of this fly out all right so now uh, let's go and do that inside this fly out we have our menu fly out toggle fly out and we have our menu fly out item all right and after the fly out one what I want to do is I want to write let's close this application and inside after this flyout one I want to add menu fly out sub item okay and give it a text let's add sub flyouts okay and I will create an ending element inside it and I will paste all the two other elements menu flyout item inside this menu flyout sub item element all right now you can see on the left side that there is an arrow on the right side of sub flyout now in order to check this out let's go and click on local machine and see if it's working or not so I will click on this click me and there is a toggle fly out and we have a fly out one and this is a sub fly out if I hover my cursor on it you can see that uh, there is another fly out uh, popping uh, on the right side so this is the more modification version of fly out it has many applicational uh, benefits uh, you can create many uh, uh, main menu in your application uh, at the top and whenever we will click on any of this button it will show up the fly out and we can have sub uh, menu as well so I hope that you have got the idea how to create flyouts in our uh, universal windows application development in the next video I'll talk about page navigation so make sure to subscribe my channel like this video and thanks for watching